How's it going team? This is Eddie Gray and I am back at it with another video, this time highlighting the Cremona Quartet by Native Instruments. This is the series that I personally was the most excited about simply because I have a couple of great uh, string libraries that I really enjoy and that I use all the time and I just needed something to be able to come on top. You know, I needed a, a, a melodic player, an expressive violin player, a viola player to be able to come out to the forefront and take over the soundstage, if you will. And so I feel with this series, you can do just that. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know that I did an extensive manual read through of the Stradivari violin a couple weeks back. And if you want to find the manual, you can do so here. Okay. The GUI is essentially identical for each one of these incredible offerings. So we're just going to do a quick walkthrough and just listen to the various articulations and uh, compare, to, uh, compare that to the Stradivari violin. So here is the virtuoso mode which is, is basically what this instrument is built around. Here, check it out. Uh, I'm gonna use the mod wheel to get dynamic. Go into staccato, I will use the pitch wheel. So that's really nice. You can go from an expressive virtuoso mode to staccato just by using the pitch wheel. So here's the detached bow. Okay. All right, we heard it's staccato. Let's listen to pitch staccato. All right, that's pretty nice. Sounds just really clean, you know. It has such an authentic feel to it. Really enjoying it. Let's listen to the Sawtell single expression. I'm going to click on these three little dots alongside all the various articulations. So these are all MIDI mapped, and you can kind of set where you want them to play. So if I want a, another articulation here, I can set it. So this is uh, this short articulation is really good for different runs. So you want to do something really fast, like a... Which sounds really realistic. You know, and um, of course we can play all this stuff in. Um, but we could also use, you know, something like the... Uh, step Sequencer. And you can create a pattern in here. Let's see what this sounds like. So that's just another way to do this. You don't have to just do it one way. You don't have to play everything and if you don't want to. It's probably better if you want to get that sense of realism.
Let's go. Let's go to the next one. So that was the Guaranari violin. So think of that like a second violin. This is the Amati viola. And I think this one really truly does sound like a viola. It has like the same body and the same resonance. Check it out. Now something that's really cool is that you can change the articulation of the bow change, which is the purple key here, and then force an open string. So for bow change, uh, listen to this. So you can literally change the player's strike, how he strikes the strings, uh, midway performance. So you gotta love that. And then there's force open string. Now this one is based on the the, the string of the viola. So in other words, you're either playing the open string or you're playing uh, in position. And a lot of this, you know, you can kind of read and look at here. So, so for example, here in the key of G, I'm either going to be playing in this position or in the open position. In which case, if I want to trigger the open string, the key is E1, so let me find that. Here it is right here. So here's in position, and here's the open string. You see how open it sounds? So you are going to have to verify if it, in fact, has the ability to play in an open string. But that is a really detailed feature. Um, you can have this set up so that you're playing you know, in, in a high position. which is going to sound really high and resonant, or you can have this play in a low position. Which is going to sound a lot warmer in general. So we also have a smart mode, which is going to kind of choose for us based on our range. So this sounds really nice. Loving the Amati Viola. Sounds absolutely stunning. Let me see if I could check out a couple of more articulations. Uh, let's do... Ricochet, no, we did that. Uh, let's see, how about Spiccato? Sounds really clean. Let's do Marcato. You get a nice heart attack, and then it kind of dips out after that. Really, really nice. This one is a bit more... Kind of plays and then releases quickly we know the adaptive virtuoso mode has many different articulations in one if you wanted something that had a mute you could enable this con sordino and now this will be muted
So this sounds a lot more open. And again, because you're using the tool to mute the strings, it's going to sound a little bit more dampened. Um, what's great is you can also specify, hey, I'm going to be using, uh, you know, fingered uh, spot or a bowed uh, position. Or this is, you know, I need something that works with runs. So if I want to do something really fast. And then for portamento. So that's really nice, it really helps to uh, create those transitions. Now depending on which articulation you choose, you're going to get various options, I just wanted to give you the heads up there. Uh, but yeah, really incredible series in the Cremona Quartet. Let's finish off here by checking out the Stradivari cello. Again, we're just going to check out the normal instrument, not the multi-mic position. Um, and as you can see the GUI is pretty much the same. Let's listen to the quality here. Sounds really warm, really rich, really authentic. Absolutely stunned by the overall richness. Let's check out the detached bow. Okay, really nice. Here's staccato. Yeah, sounds absolutely lovely. That's staccato. Here's pizzicato. Let's check this out. Again, absolutely robust. Incredible. Absolutely love it. I just, I know this is going to be in my front line quite often. Again, you can play with the dynamics. Looks like you can play with the position. Uh, let's see if there's any other expressions or articulations that we can play with. Let's check out uh, Saw Till. What's this one here? <laughs> Okay, so that is obviously super interesting. 
how can I play with those settings? Let's do speed, maybe a little faster. All right, let's go really slow. Alright team, I hope you enjoyed this series. We're going to be releasing content on Complete 13 all week long. So go ahead and check us out. If you want more content, more information, go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And guys, thank you very much for watching. If you feel like any of your friends, acquaintances, peers would benefit from a video like this, go ahead and send them over this video and look out for more. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you very much. Cheers.